So the last two years, uh, challenging in many places, although not every state, uh, COVID, uh, Lloyd, you had layered on a hurricane. So each of you, talk to us a little bit about um, a particular challenge that the last 24 months have brought and what you, uh, are the, really the thought process, first of all, and then the execution to address the challenge. You can go in any order. Uh, I'll start. Yeah, sure. Um, we made virtually no money in pre-litigation in 2020. So we were down for, for 2020, probably a million dollars in, in pre-lit revenue, um, which was, you know, typically 40 to 60% of our revenue. Um, and at first, um, it seemed to make sense that it was pandemic related. And, um, and then through a lot of introspection and, um, and digging into the business, turned out, in fact, it was not pandemic related. It was some choices we had made to, um, to try to be leaders of leaders, and we chose the wrong leaders. Um, and so um, we had to make some hard choices. I lost uh, uh, a staff member who had been with me for 20 years and, uh, you know, that was there for the birth of my children and he was a really good friend and now will never talk to me again. And, um, and a staff member, a lawyer that was with us for eight years and um, they both had to go. The numbers didn't lie. Um, and when we, when we corrected that problem, um, suddenly started making money again. So let me stick with you for a moment, Jason. Like what, again, through every adversity, a proper response is, <clears throat> what is this teaching me? So what's the learning do you think in that? And maybe they're two separate experiences, two different people. Yeah, well, I mean, I think one of the, the you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give Charlie credit, his captain of the ship metaphor is pretty solid, that, um, you know, these people had been with us when I was eating with the crew. And, um, and so that made it a lot more difficult to be the captain of the ship, especially, you know, with those two particular people. Um, so, and that's certainly, I mean, that's a lesson I've learned <laughs> probably 15 times over 20 years. But, um, so that was an important one to take away. And then the other one was numbers, numbers don't lie when, you, when you've got a, um, when you're doing your IDS, I don't know how many of you do traction and EOS, um, but when you're doing the, the identify, discuss, and solve the issues, it, um, a lot of times the issue that you, your team is presenting as the issue is not really the issue. And right. you got to go a few layers deep to find it, which is hard. It's all hard. So, so yeah, particularly in small firms, I mean, one of the hardest things to do is to recognize that the people that are around you and get you to a certain level are often not the people that engage to the next level. And in fact, in our discussions yesterday, Jason, I think it was you that reminded me of that, of that mantra. And yes, we know these people and we have been with them and they have been with us for a long time and we perhaps know their families. And, and yet, when you have somebody who today is not right person, right seat on the bus, and they're not the right person for the firm, you don't do them any good. You don't improve their life by keeping them in a place where they cannot and they are not thriving. And it's hard. It's hard to, as you, because I've had these discussions myself where you anticipate like the discussion. Um, it gets easier, I think, to get through. And you know, as these guys will tell you, some of the discussions uh, in the last two days in our groups were, you need to go back and fire this person. <laughs> and for, for 10 and 15 years, as long as we've been running the mastermind and now the accelerated groups, like that's been a thing. And again, those are discussions Jason can't necessarily have all the time with a law partner or a spouse or whatever. He needs this board of directors who are pushing him and knowing that when he comes back to the next meeting, there's going to be a report on that. But it is, let me, let's accept and recognize that 
you know, separating from people who have been there through the journey and sometimes through the hardest parts of the journey is hard. The more you understand about business, the more you see that it's natural, though. It is natural. Yes? 